Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Red Coast Revenge in E4, and we're still continuing our fight, or, well, we started fight at some midway through the episode last time, but we're fighting, uh, Persia and Hormuz, and the idea is to take Aden and Hormuz both, which actually, if we have a look right now, I don't think I can actually take them, but that would be a fair bit of overextension, and we cannot actually take any land from there because it's not controlled by us. Never mind then, but... Uh, Aden itself is not a huge, or Aden itself is not a huge amount of overextension. I suspect that Hormuz will be a lot more, but we can certainly take a little bit more land over here as well. Something like that would we'll make the borders a little bit cleaner on our side. And maybe even connect over here. That is possible. That would connect this area to the area there. I mean, I could potentially even take from Persia if I can. Take uh, Hormuz and then also around here to take the Red Sea all for myself. Oh, well, well, that's technically the little... Oh, Ottomans hold this. And Ottomans are guaranteed by Persia. Oh, oh boy. I'm still getting a lot of money. We now have 400,000 ducats in the bank. Oh, they are moving in. Uh huh, let's see. Can we get a good leader? We did have a leader here in. Who's that? Let him more. Not all of you. So wait, you could go directly there, but you cannot. That's odd. But perhaps it remembers where they came from, or from which province they approached from. They are sending in their troops. We are sending in reinforcements. Should be able to get there in time. At least some of them. Yeah, we've got 90,000 men there for their... Ooh, that's a lot of dead guys there. That's a stack pipe. Well, I'll be. Right, if they're moving in... Oh, that's mountains. Can we get there in time? Which one would be there first? We'd be in 16th, they'd be 13th. They'd have the defensive bonus there. That's not what we're looking for. I'm not going to send the troops in there because they do still have rather good armies. Okay, I think at this point we might as well take the Diplo... Or the Diplo tech. Right, but since we destroyed one of the armies, it was 50,000 men. So they are now down to 100 and, oh, 240,000, something like that. Not quite uh, directly, but it's in that region. Wait, we didn't... Oh, right, we didn't break that. Oh, that's a bold move. How many are they moving in? It's a lot. Well, I'll start sending in some troops. I think these two armies first. And we're gonna wait until they're locked in before we send the rest. And, oh, yeah, the, one of them is already locked in. So you can move in, and you're gonna move in. So we're gonna have 150,000 against their 80,000. Can we get the troops in their time? Oh yeah, we got some reinforcements. We get more in a little bit. There we go. We got pretty much the entire back line of artillery, and we won the battle. We took a bit more. Well, actually, no, they took more casualties than we did. Right, you can probably go there. We're gonna have to spread out the troops a tiny bit here to avoid most of the attrition. We're gonna leave two armies here just so that we can get the siege done as soon as possible. Oh. They're still sending troops. They're already locked in. Alright then. Did not win the siege, unfortunately. Oh, but we would be the first one to take the admin idea. Or the admin take, rather. Um, sure, we'll take that. Can we kill that army? I think we can. Well, not entirely, but they took 17,000 casualties. 
which is not a small amount. Okay, you are in a bad shape, so I'm going to pull you back. You probably need a bit of a rest as well. And then I'm going to keep one general here, so you can go there. Spreading out the troops a little bit again. They do still have a fair bit of troops down here in the south, but we could probably go down this. Oh, we can't actually go there. Alright then, let's keep an eye on that. And in the meanwhile... Oh, some of our colonies have been seizing down the area. That's good. Wait, what? No, don't go through all of that. You'd need to go all the way around Africa to reach there. Well, not all around Africa, but around there, I think. Which is quite far from what we want. Right, so how many leaders do we have? We got one leader extra right now. That's not too bad. Now, could we win this battle, please? Of Caesar. But nope, not yet. If I was to do the barrage, then it would certainly fall. Well, not guaranteed, but quite likely at that point. Because we did seize one of these provinces. We could probably go in and de siege that. They don't have a huge army here. Now, come on, if we don't win this siege now, I'm gonna break the walls. There we go. Took way too long. Right, it's time to start pushing south. Ooh. Not gonna attack that army yet. We are going south, you are over here. I'm just waiting for more reinforcements. Truth of Malacca and it already? Oh, I suppose we did go on speed four for a little bit. Now then, I think we want to get the Miltech. See if Herrera has ended. Excellent. So you can go there now, you can go there. Of course, we are going to have to seize down a lot of Persia before we can even peace out from this war. So I would almost say that this is probably the second last big war that we're going to have. Let me do third last, but there's not going to be a huge amount of time. Okay, they're sending in a lot of troops. Time to go. Right, you already got some troops with you. Force march. It is coastal to oh they gave up. Alright then. You can actually stop force marching. Although moving fast is not bad, but at the same time we don't necessarily need to have the force march on. Right, uh, we are winning that siege quite handily. Now the enemy does have a large army still here, about 100,000 men. Actually, probably more than that, but... Oh yeah, 140,000 roughly speaking. Now then, there would be a lot of buildings that we could build. That's desert. Time to move in. Can we... No, we can't actually move from here or there. We can move from here. Could I move... I could move... No, I can't even move back from here. So we're stuck on this for until we... Well, there we go. This is going to be a big battle, assuming that they are sending reinforcements, which they are. Oh, well, no, they're not. So this is probably going to be a stack wipe. 180,000 men. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, we lost 10,000 men. They lost uh, 32. I'd say that's an equal trade. spread out a tiny bit from here. Now we did get some reinforcements still here from other parts. They got a large army in the south so we might as well focus our troops down that way. Ooh. 
that is a large army. I wonder if I could perhaps catch them there. Oh, they're moving in there. Okay. You do you. Also, my vassals are fighting Hormuz over there. That's actually not bad. Now I'm going to force march you over there. Oh, never mind. They're not attacking... Oh, they might be attacking me. Probably send some reinforcements there. Oh, uh, now they're not. They can't decide to, uh, where they're going or not. I sense that might be a problem for them. Right, so we seized down the majority of this area. I'm going to send you there, and you're going to go over here, ready to cross. Right. So we have seized this area here, so we are slowly making our way into Persia. Oh, are they actually coming in? Come on, come on. I'm going to let you lock in. There we go. Force march. Force march. Oh, they're moving on that army as well. This army doesn't have a leader. How about we just buy another general? Ooh, well, that's not bad. Six fire. Awesome. I'm going to send you force march over here. Attacking in two places at once, that one doesn't have a general, so we will win that battle easily. And this one, if we can get reinforcements there in time, then we will win. Oh yeah, we got some reinforcements there. I took a decent bit of casualties. Spread out a little bit, and this fight, yeah, that was a nice victory. No, you don't need to march quickly there right now. Because the quicker you get there, the more attrition you'll be taking, most likely. Oh, we actually lost one general. Also, you probably don't need to be marching quickly, but we are now spreading out into the Persian lands, so that's good. I do still have a decent bit of troops here. And rebels. Oh, right, that's just theirs. Never mind, I'm not going to worry about that. Now, I do want to get the better troops as soon as possible, so I will not take the remaining ideas before that. It's only level 2 fort. Alright, then, how about we send an army there? That is tempting. I like. I'm, I'm so conditioned to it that if there's a notification that I know that I do want to take at some point, then I keep on clicking it, even though I know that I shouldn't be clicking on it right now. Now, getting to Hormuz itself is probably going to be a little bit tricky. I'm sure that we can find a way. We'll let this army reinforce a little bit. You cannot actually get there until we've taken out that fort. Ooh, are they actually moving in? Coastal Desert, okay. They are moving in. Uh oh. We might get a stack wipe here. Yeah, it's not looking great. Yep, that's a stack wipe. Alright then. Let's build another army. Just a standard regular over there. They do have a scary army. I've played Persia plenty of times, so I know that they are not an easy opponent. Move you down south a little bit, so you'll be in a bit more central location to support wherever is needed. Okay, over here. Okay, how big of a navy does the enemy have? They have a decent navy, I suppose. Oh, and we've captured that, so we hold the war goal, technically speaking. And there's 13 colonies sending 50,000 men across. Okay, go to Adan. 
They have a lot of troops coming south. This does have me a little bit concerned, to be fair. Right, how quickly can we siege down that one? Not quickly enough. Troops of Siak has ended. Alright, where are they heading? Oh, they're heading all across... Or all around here. They're probably gathering up the troops here to attack me. Or rather attack uh, 13 colonies there. What I can do is I can send in an army to there to reinforce them. I can move this army a bit further east. Oh, 13 colonies catching it. Well, it's only 2,000 men army there. But it's still something. Now, Persia still wants to fight. Not particularly surprised, to be fair. Uh oh, no. You're not gonna go there. Go over here. You go over there. You're already on your way. Once you're there, I'm gonna start force marching you. But we're gonna consolidate regiments. That is a large army we might actually lose before we get reinforcements there. Well, that did a decent bit of damage on them. Oh, they got reinforcements. Can we get there in time? Yes, we did. Oh, actually. They're gonna go to Bahrain, aren't they? Because if they do... We can probably keep them there. They might be attritioning there as well. Not necessarily. Oh no, they're walking through. Oh, never mind then. I know that I don't actually pay for the force march, but I still prefer to have it off whenever I don't need it. Okay, we got the fort here, so that's good. Two armies going north. I'm going to spread out here a little bit. Actually, I'm going to send you north, you go south, just so that we have general in both directions. Right, I wonder, is Persia... No, no. Oh, can we get to Hormuz? Please go to Hormuz. No. Uh-oh. That's the desert. Alright then, I'm going to move you down south. We'll have 90,000 men against that 30,000 stack. Gather up the troops. I'm going to catch them. Because we'll get reinforcements there soon. Actually, no, you need to go north. We'll get the reinforcements there in no time. Well, hopefully soon enough. Yeah, just in time. Took a lot of casualties for that, to be fair. You can pull back a little bit. Let me cease down this. Okay, so we did siege down a fair bit of Persia already. Hormuz is basically broken, I'm pretty sure. And the enemy... Let's have a look at their manpower and armies and all that. Right, so Persia is almost out of manpower. They have a lot of mercenaries. They still do still have uh, six armies worth of troops. And Hormuz does still have an army. But it's well, out of manpower already, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, that's actually Hormuz troops there. Alright, see so down more troops or oh, provinces here. I'm actually going to send this army to the east already. I'm going to let the colonies and this army to take care of this area. Send this over here to sink down the Hormuz navy. Okay, they are sinking our navy in Gujarat, which is a less than ideal. Okay, so we did actually get to Hormuz. Ooh. Now, we'll be getting the defensive bonus from the terrain there. No, no, actually. Ooh. 
Can we get there in time is the question. I don't think we can. No, we did. Just barely. Are you going to get there in time and is the enemy going to get there in time is the question next. I think we need to start moving more troops down that way. Already got a fair bit moving but I don't think it's enough. No debate in Parliament. Let's have a look. Um, that maintenance modifying land attrition. That would be nice. Trade efficiency is always good. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. Right, let's see. What can we do? Admin support we can probably do now. Bribing. Corruption. Bribing. Crown lands. Corruption. Site in Parliament. Probably Navy commissions because we have practically 100 naval tradition all the time. Try another naval commission. Ignore more corruption. Admin supports. I suppose we can grant a little bit of army commissions as well and... I suppose autonomy. And more navy commissions, there we go. Can we get there in time? I would... Oh, they got the penalties now, but we are practically broken. Oh, reinforcements got there in kind of time, but... Both have the center broken. It's going to be a close call. I think we might just win this. Yeah, the fact that they brought in reinforcements with worst uh, maneuver general actually won this fight for us. I mean, we lost 29,000. They lost 36. So it wasn't all that great for us. Let's have a look. Persia. Now that we could actually ask for that, that would be only 21% of extension. It would be certainly expensive to take it. Because we don't have the war score against them actually. Then how about we take that? That would be 25. I could probably take that one as well. And maybe these. That would be 35. That would be a fair bit of the war score, but that's alright. Now what do they have there? They got some heavies, a lot of uh Ah, that is an inland sea, but our heavy ships are insanely good, so we'll just go in there, locate that, stop them from getting back here. We'll siege over this area. Ning wants to fight Brazil and Spain. Hormuz is offering peace, but no, they don't know what I want, and I'm not going to give them the peace offer quite yet. Okay, Persia is not on level 30 at least. I'm going to pull back some of the troops a tiny bit while we try to reinforce the troops. And as soon as we get the ships there, then it shouldn't really be a problem. I could go over here. But I think I'm going to clean up this one first. And maybe Hormuz. Actually, Hormuz does have a little bit... Can we catch that army? Yes, we can. Also declared one Ottoman, so... Oh, right, Persia is not joining that because they are a little bit busy, I presume. Oh, man. Tus oh, Tuscany. Oh, boy. Well, Papal State make a bit of a comeback, then. Now, to Poland, Ashanti, Independence Guaranteed by Austria. It's possible I could pro probably take that area now. Although it wouldn't be easy. And we'll be using a lot of manpower during this war still, so we're going to need a, a bit of a rest after this war. So it's just going to end it. Right, I'm going to send an army there to siege down those cards. Why don't you go and help with that mountain fort? Right, so we are blockading this, so they shouldn't be getting here anymore. That also means that we can actually get down here. Oh, 
And we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But on that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.